Did you know a traditional World Cup football contains exactly 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons, joined by 690 hand-placed stitches? This precise geometry ensures perfect flight and control when millions hold their breath during crucial matches, and each ball takes a skilled worker three hours to complete, earning them just 75 cents. Starting as synthetic materials from China, South Korea, and Japan, it becomes the focal point of global passion. From manufacturing facilities to the FIFA testing chambers, you're about to see what billions of fans never get to witness. Before we dive into the topic, please do subscribe to our channel. Ever wondered what material actually makes up a World Cup football? Contrary to popular belief, it's not genuine leather, but a sophisticated composite material that blends cotton, polyester, and polyurethane. This synthetic leather is the foundation of every ball you've seen kicked around on the world's biggest stage. The journey of these materials begins in specialized factories across Asia, where the components are selected with precision that matches the ball's intended purpose. Footballs vary significantly in quality, despite coming from the same production facilities. The key differentiator lies in material sourcing, which creates a hierarchy of quality. Recreational balls use Chinese materials, durable enough for casual play. Professional match balls incorporate South Korean components, offering enhanced performance and longevity. World Cup balls feature premium Japanese materials, engineered specifically for elite competition with superior aerodynamic properties. Much like a master chef selecting only the finest ingredients for a signature dish, manufacturers source these premium Japanese components for their unique ability to maintain consistent flight characteristics while withstanding professional play's rigors. When you see that perfect free kick curling into the top corner during a World Cup match, those carefully selected materials enable that predictable trajectory. This selection process focuses squarely on performance under extreme conditions. Imagine a ball struck at over 80 miles per hour repeatedly for 90 plus minutes while maintaining its shape perfectly. These materials face incredible challenges during matches. They must withstand high velocity impacts without deformation, perform consistently in freezing temperatures or tropical humidity, and resist water absorption while maintaining precise weight and fuel. Before taking their spherical form, these materials undergo critical preparation. Once synthetic leather sheets arrive at the factory, adhesives bond multiple layers together in a precise process. Too much adhesive creates a rigid, unpredictable ball. Too little causes layer separation under stress. The quality of this bond directly influences performance throughout the ball's lifespan, including its structural integrity despite temperature fluctuations and moisture exposure. From these prepared sheets, the iconic panel shapes are cut with exacting precision. While designs vary, the traditional pattern features 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons, mathematically creating a nearly perfect sphere. Engineers faced a significant challenge when designing the 2014 World Cup ball, requiring over three years of testing to ensure consistent aerodynamics after previous models had unpredictable flight paths. Each panel must fit perfectly with neighbors, creating uniform seams across the entire surface. These seams aren't merely joining points, they're engineered features influencing aerodynamic properties. When you see a ball swerving unexpectedly or maintaining a straight trajectory, it's these panel shapes and their arrangement doing the work. Those carefully engineered seams don't magically appear on their own, they're the product of human hands working with remarkable precision. In the city of Sialkot, Pakistan, a staggering 60,000 people, roughly 8% of the entire city's population, dedicate their working lives to crafting the very footballs used in World Cups and professional leagues worldwide. This tradition of craftsmanship persists because machines still can't replicate the quality despite our technological advancements. A single ball requires approximately three hours of focused handwork. Skilled stitchers develop techniques ensuring uniform tension across every seam, allowing the ball to maintain consistent flight characteristics regardless of where it's struck. The careful placement directly influences how the ball behaves in flight, and human touch essential for professional match balls. The majority of these skilled stitchers are women, balancing factory work with substantial household responsibilities. Their expertise developed through years of practice, with specific hand movements becoming second nature after thousands of repetitions. This specialized knowledge can't be programmed into machinery. It's acquired through dedicated practice and refined through experience. 
While thermal bonding has emerged as an alternative using hot glue to join panels, these balls come with significant drawbacks. They're more expensive to transport and cannot be repaired if damaged, unlike hand-stitched balls that can be mended, making them more sustainable despite higher initial production costs. The football manufacturing industry in Seilcott represents a fascinating intersection of traditional craftsmanship and modern sport. Despite the push toward automation, this production process resists complete mechanization because the quality difference remains noticeable at professional levels. FIFA-approved match balls continue to rely on human precision, a testament to the irreplaceable value of skilled handiwork in our increasingly automated world. While human hands perfect these spheres, machines are waiting to torture them. The journey from factory floor to World Cup final involves subjecting each ball to punishing trials that would destroy lesser products, tests so demanding that they reveal weaknesses invisible to the human eye. FIFA's certification process stands as the ultimate gatekeeper between manufacturing and the pitch. These rigorous trials ensure each ball performs identically, whether kicked in the desert heat of Qatar or the high altitude of Mexico City, a critical factor for fair competition. The sphericity test forms the cornerstone of this evaluation. In this trial by fire, sophisticated equipment measures whether a ball maintains perfect roundness throughout flight. A ball's roundness directly impacts trajectory, affecting everything from penalty kicks to corner crosses. Even slight deviations alter a ball's path in ways that alter crucial plays. Next comes the brutality of durability testing. Special machines, essentially torture chambers for footballs, fire them against solid walls at high velocity 2,000 times or more. This punishment compresses years of match play into mere hours, revealing any weaknesses in panel connections. A professional striker might kick a ball forcefully 50 times per match, meaning these tests simulate an entire tournament's worth of powerful strikes. In another critical test, balls face the elements. Earlier World Cup balls would absorb water, becoming heavier and changing game dynamics. Modern testing addresses this through specialized water absorption trials, where balls are partially submerged and repeatedly weighed. This advancement ensures consistent performance whether in sunshine or downpour. The wind tunnel represents another battleground. High-speed cameras capture the ball's movement as it spins through controlled airstreams, analyzing how seam patterns affect flight. Engineers specifically target the knuckling effect, that unpredictable wobble making trajectories difficult to anticipate, creating balls with predictable flight characteristics that reward skill rather than luck. Temperature consistency receives special attention through CTR core system training. This technology ensures uniform rebound properties, whether played in frigid conditions or tropical heat, giving players confidence the ball will behave as expected regardless of climate. Perhaps most impressive is connected ball technology testing. Advanced match balls now contain 500 Hz inertial measurement units that transmit data to VAR systems. Each ball undergoes circuit functionality verification to ensure these sensors accurately track position, speed, and individual touches. The Precision Shell system represents another breakthrough. This design features 20 specifically shaped panels with strategic grooves on the outer shell. Each pattern undergoes extensive laboratory and on-field testing to assess airflow, resulting in flight stability that enhances player control and game quality. So there you have it, the remarkable journey of a World Cup football, from raw synthetic sheets to the center stage of global sports. But I haven't shown you everything. Sai Alcott Pakistan produces approximately 70% of the world's footballs, including the official FIFA World Cup balls. This manufacturing powerhouse employs around 60,000 people across at least 1,000 factories. The latest FIFA Club World Cup ball, crafted by Forward Sports in Sialkot, incorporates Adidas's connected ball technology, sending real-time data to VAR systems for faster officiating decisions. What will the future of football technology bring? Craftsmanship behind each ball connects us all. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments, and please do like the video and subscribe to the channel.